Welcome back to Loyal TV. Today, travel with us to a blink and you'll miss it city, just 12 miles southeast of Guthrie. It's a spot so small, it covers only 0.2 square miles in total. Meet Meridian, Oklahoma, a tiny town, but a place that once had great influence. Meridian was founded in two remarkable stages. First, the west side of the city was settled during the land run in 1889. Then the east side was established in 1891, when the Iowa, Sac and Fox, Kickapoo, Absentee Shawnee, and Citizen Band Potawatomi lands were opened. Meridian was finally platted and incorporated in 1902, due in large part to construction of the Katy Railroad straight through the city with tracks that traveled on to Guthrie. Initially, the town was to be known as Allen, named after the local postal proprietor. However, Mr. Allen declined the honor, stating the name of the town should reflect its location, as it was founded on the Indian Meridian. The Meridian, assessed in 1870, observed the dividing line between the state and Indian territories. Today, a monument at the initial location is still used as a reference point for land surveys in Oklahoma. Though lacking in population, Meridian truly had an influence in territorial government early in the state's creation. In fact, James Ira McDaniel, a local farmer, was elected to the second Oklahoma Territorial Legislature in 1892. In 1900, Miles Allen was elected to the sixth Oklahoma Territorial Legislature. Miles and his wife Lucy had been successful claimants during the land rush and owned the local store. Then, in March of 1907, Meridian held an anti-Jim Crow convention, an event that would host two future state-shaping Oklahomans. First, Martin Edwin Trapp was 12 years old when his parents staked a land claim. Trapp would go on to become state auditor and lieutenant governor of Oklahoma. He would eventually become the sixth governor of the state after John C. Walton's impeachment and removal from office as governor. Trapp was responsible for the establishment of a State Bureau of Investigation, plus multiple conservation programs. Also attending that 1907 conference was young Jenny Harris Oliver, who would later teach school in Meridian. More notably, she became the state's third poet laureate from 1940 until her death in 1942. Her poems appeared in magazines such as Women's World and Good Housekeeping and her popular Moki Delano stories were adapted into a 1942 film starring Robert Blake as the eight-year-old Moki. Though Meridian continued to be the little city that could, by the turn of the 21st century, most town folk were moving to Stillwater, Guthrie, and Oklahoma City. In 2010, the town, still located at the junction of County Roads North 3230 and East 0810, recorded only 38 residents but it also records a storied history. Please come back again for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.